Hey guys, welcome back to another exciting video. In this video, I'm going to talk about the best Salesforce extensions that you should be using. And trust me, if you use these extensions, your life will be way much easier. So let's get started. So the first extension that I'm going to show you guys is this Salesforce organizer. Okay. Now this Salesforce organizer is the best tool I ever come across because you can actually log in into your org with just one click. So right now I have saved my username and password you can just save your username and password you can even give the login you know url if it's production sandbox or anything here okay and you can just save this and once you save this you can just log in right now if i just click on this open a new tab i can just log in into my salesforce org i don't have to you know remember my password or you know go into this login page and and select all the login usernames and then log in here with just one click i can definitely log in with this and apart from this you will also see some orgs here these are different different orgs so it will also show you guys how many active orgs are literally present here if you want to open the developer console the setup or anything you even have option from here as well just simply one click and it will open the developer console so this is the number one tool that i use number one extension that i use to log in into my salesforce orgs because i have to work on multiple orgs okay so the, you have qa you have day org, you have multiple day orgs basically you have qa uat production pre-prod all these orgs are there so definitely you should have multiple you know usernames and password here that you can store and the thing is you can download all this data you can import again and that's it you don't have to worry about this now the second tool i will recommend is the salesforce inspector now the salesforce ins inspector is the best or go-to tool to build your own queries so in this salesforce inspector if you click on this uh, button here it will open this interface and you can see data export so if i right click and open this data export i can basically you know write any circle and i can run this circle and the best part about it is that you can have all the history as well here so let's say i write select id comma name from account okay i have written a very basic query here and if i run this i can have all this data i can just copy this and i can paste it in excel i can get json as well now let's say i want another field so you can see if i give comma here you will see all the fields are literally present here okay so i can use this active i need another field let's say billing city i want or billing country as well so that's it i have basically i can get all the fields if i query this i'll get some data so this is the best tool now you can actually export you can import as well there are some org limits you can see and another thing which i just want to show you guys is if i open any record okay once i open this record you can see i have some page layouts okay we have different different page layouts in production or different different orgs now there's a possibility that in that page layout you may not see a certain value so for that what you can do is you can just click on this it will show you basically what is the object here and you will see this show all data okay so if i click on this show all data i'll just again open this in new tab you will see i have a complete data here for example the api name is here the label the type as well as value okay so i can just search here any any label name or api name and it will basically give me so for example if i search city it is going to give me building city here and it will find the new york that is the value here i can even update this value here let's say i can update this to you know uh mumbai okay and i can just save this so i can save from here as well this will basically update the value here uh, you don't have to do this on your org again an another thing is that if you click on this show field metadata you'll find if i click on this type or if i just hover a mouse i don't have to click as well it will basically show you the epi field name there as well okay so this is again a good thing but i don't usually use this much i use most of the this data export and to you know create queries and run the query so very very helpful tool now another tool that i want to show you guys is the best tool that i have came across and this is mostly used by a lot of developers okay so this tool is called salesforce dev tools and with this for example right now i have opened one record which is basically a custom object you also have this standard object that is account here so in my custom object that is hospital here if i click on this show object api name it is going to give me all the api names literally here i don't have to you know hover like the previous tool so here i can just copy this uh, api name and i can use my in my apex class now the best part about this tool is that you can actually generate your apex code from here as well so if i click on this apex code generator okay 
uh, this is the second option here apex code generator and this is going to give me an apex code to generate this record so if you're writing any test classes if you want to create your test data this is the best tool that you should be using trust me you have literally like everything you don't have to type anything manually now another thing that i love about this tool is that there is something called query editor again here also you can create your own queries so you can actually select this and just copy paste this and you can run this query and you can create again different different things there is also this uh, salesforce inspector which i already talked but again you have this feature as well here as well now another thing is that there are some there's something called search debug logs you also have this object fields we are not going to go in there i use mostly this uh, object api name and this apex code generator then in this debug log also we have a if you have plenty of debug logs in your org and if you want to find something let's say i have one uh something i want to find something called body here okay so you can see this is one debug log where i had put this uh debug statement with the body you see use a debug so this is what i found now i have a better plugin that i'm going to show you after this this is the most used plugin by developers you can see there are 50,000 users this plugin is called salesforce advanced code searcher now the best recommended use will be in classic so if you are using salesforce classic you must you can use this tool definitely so this tool actually gives you all the data you want for example i want apex classes so you, let's say i type here you have to go into setup first of all from setup you will see an additional box here a field and i can just type rest for example i have created some rest apis if you have watched the videos click on some i button or in the link uh, description below you can check the rest apis i have explained there so let's say i want to open this rest api class i can just click this and boom I can you know access this apex class here right here I can search any apex class based on the keyword not just apex class but I can search trigger visual force page even custom label we have to you know check a lot of custom labels so instead of finding custom label here and then go into you know again there and searching uh, by view or even some you know alphabets that's very tough so that's why if you can use, use this custom label here you can just you know search any custom label you want it is going to give you the count as well so all the things are very very handy again another thing is you can search your code here as well with these developer utilities i don't really use this much i use most of this apex classes and this custom label as well as well as this email templates so very very handy tool definitely must use in every single day so the next extension is widely used by most of the salesforce developers who actually have to debug using debug logs so the most important thing when you you know create a debug log is that you need to get the correct debug log okay for example i have this apex class here where i have put some debug statements now i want to retrieve this you know a debug log with these debug statements so i'm just gonna hit this api if you haven't watched the video where i explain you guys how to create some rest apis definitely check this out there should be a link in the description now i just if i click this send button it's going to run this apex class and all these debug statements will be definitely printed there so i want to see what is the value that you know i'm getting in this debug log so it is very difficult if i just you know open every single debug log and find it manually but you can see we have one search option here one search input field usually if you don't use this extension you won't find this search input here so i i know one thing that i have this api request keyword so if i just copy this now most of this log will be definitely having because i have run this api you can see multiple times here if i search this you'll it is basically highlighted in green color so if i open this okay now all of these debug logs definitely have this value okay so if i just uh, open this debug log you can see this is highlighted again this is in black color but if i scroll down okay you will see this green color which is basically your you know debug log now i can just control f and find whatever the debug log i want it will also basically highlight the circles you can see this is the circle it is highlighting in blue color and if you have any exception it is going to highlight in the red color so this is very very interesting tool it's called apex debugger i'm gonna i'm gonna put all the links in the description below so for the next extension if you are an lwc developer or lightning developer this extension is specifically for you so this extension is called lightning studio and with this lightning studio extensions you can see we have a all the lightning web components or lwc components are literally present here all i had to do was just click i just open this page okay i have this hello world here 
this component this is a lwc component and you can see hello world i can literally open this and i can check this code here so very very helpful if you want to you know uh check out this uh code for your lwc component not just this but also you can actually modify this and once you click on save or control s you can deploy this uh, through this lightning studio extension as well. So very helpful for LWC people So our next extension is very helpful when you are working with multiple orgs in multiple tabs in the same window of your browser So you can see I have this one two three and four orgs. These are four different orgs having four different colored favicons usually it is blue color and it is very confusing when you're working with multiple tabs for example if i duplicate this two hours okay and i just open any account here let's say i open this burlington i have this cases as well so if i open this case you can see these two are different orgs and i can definitely distinguish which org i'm working on some particular you know scenario so if you're working on dayborg and qa uat or even pre-prod it is very easy to identify and basically not to make any mistake i have done plenty of mistakes guys trust me when i wanted to do any changes in my dayborg but i happened to do in uat which i was not supposed to do so very helpful to identify which org you are playing with all right guys that's it for today i have included one link in the description to this notepad where you can you know see all links and install all these extensions now if you have already ex any extension that you are using and which is helpful definitely you know add a comment below in the description i'll definitely check it out and thank you so much for watching the video